Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're doing some more updates on our new condo. If you haven't seen our empty house tour, check it out. And today I'm doing a feature wall and also we have a bit of furniture that we're gonna refurbish and fix up. So this one should be an interesting one. Hopefully everything works out, but I'm not too sure at this point. By the way, my husband has created a TikTok where he like cleans stuff. It's called Hayden Cleans. And I would love it if you guys, if you're on TikTok, please check him out and watch him clean. He's such a good husband and he likes to clean the house. So I really want him to do well on TikTok so that he continues to clean the house. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it! Today we are starting with the accent wall. I'm taking the template up and taping it onto the wall. So I started in the top right corner and I just taped it on and then my husband patted the paint onto the template using a sponge. So my sister-in-law made us these stencils using her cry cut machine. So we are going to do the dragon scale wall today. And we started with this first one, and we are noticing a few problems. So the first one is that the cardstock is really like thin, and it like comes up off the wall. So you have to be like really quick. And also, if you don't peel it off right away, the cardstock will stick to the wall. So we are having some trouble, but we're gonna do our best to make it work. And unfortunately, I think it just means that we're gonna have to do a lot of touching up. So we're starting at the top and using the titanium color paint and Hayden is just scratching off the cardstock now. This is what it's looking like so far. It's very slow going because um, you have to layer up the template. This is the whole wall so we're about maybe like one eighth done but it's about the process and we're enjoying the process after one full day and most of the evening painting so it just shows you like how long this took us. I am so frustrated and disappointed with how this is turning out. The cardstock just is not working as a template because once it gets paint on it it kind of warps and it doesn't stay straight and so as we are doing it it's just getting more and more messed up until it's just like not matching up at all. And I've been fixing it this whole time. Like every time I did one, I would like paint and try to like fix the shapes. And so I've put maybe like nine hours into this. I'm not even joking. More because I painted this white first, right? So I've just put so many hours into this and it is just not working out. So had like a good cry this morning when like this one came out and my husband said he's gonna try something and hopefully he can figure something out but if you were thinking about making a template out of cardstock using cry cut don't it doesn't work so I made this template out of the plastic and it seems to be working quite well you can see these are some of the ones I did with the plastic and I mean the shapes aren't as perfect but it's so much better than before and I've already washed the plastic once and it went right back to being square so I think this might work out but because it's so small it's gonna take me a while I have to work in like little sections like this so when one section dries I can add a bit when one section dries I can add a bit and that'll help me to do it a little bit faster. Here is the finished wall. Unfortunately, the lighting is almost always bad in this room, but I hope you can kind of see the effect and I might show it in some different lighting as well, but I think it came out really cool. There are definitely some areas where I messed up, but um, as a whole, I think it looks good, and it's only if you're really close and focusing on certain areas that you can see how kind of handmade it is, and it is, so I think I'm just gonna be okay with that. Like, there's a few drips right here, but it's not something that you would really notice from afar, so yeah, I think it's really cool. We ended up going all one color. We were originally gonna do like a little fade to blue, 
but that didn't just didn't turn out well and it didn't look right and I think this is more understated so what do you think do you like it planning to put my two diplomas up there and then we are gonna have a dining room uh, set here so hopefully it will all come together and look really cool diplomas up and I think they look really cute with the accent wall. I love how it looks. I can't wait until we get a kitchen table in here. bought this rug for the living room from Costco. It was a hundred dollars and we looked at rugs at a couple different places and Costco just seemed to have the best value for the price. At some other places um, they had rugs that were a hundred dollars too for this. Um, this is five feet by seven feet but they were like really, really small and they just didn't feel nice on your feet. Whereas this one is super plush. Um, we went with this like gray, this dark gray because we have two dogs and we don't want the hair to show. And of course one dog has dark hair and one has light. So this was the best option for that. Can you see how soft this rug is? It's got like a really big pile. So it just feels like walking on a cushion. By the way, I'm reading this book, Good Omens, by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Um, the writing style is very similar to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so if you like that series, I think you would like it. It's also a TV show on Amazon, but I didn't really want to watch the show, so I'm reading the book instead. This weekend, we are doing this dresser, and that's really the last thing we can do, I think, before we get the furniture in here. So. The plan is to take the drawers out and the um, doors off and sand everything down and then we're going to use a furniture paint. This is the furniture paint that we chose. It's by Seiko and it's for furniture and cabinets and I went with this color which is kind of a gray with a little bit of blue. Um, and I just wanted it to be a color that would work here in the dining room with like the feature wall or it would work over there next to the front door so dark blue seems like a good choice for this and we originally wanted to do a stain but it turns out doing a stain is a lot more work and it's a lot more expensive um, and it's just easier with an old piece like this that needs a lot of like wood filling that we just paint it oh that's the other thing we have to use a wood filler I bought this wood filler from LePage and there's certain parts of this that need to be filled. Like right there, for instance. So I just don't think it would look as good with a stain. But hopefully we can make this look really, really nice. The first thing that we're doing is sanding down the hutch. And I was a bit confused at first because it took like a really long time. But once I started sanding it off, I noticed that the top of it wasn't actually made out of proper wood. It was made out of like this um, composite material. So it ended up taking a really long time to sand off the entire top. And we're glad that we chose to paint instead of doing a stain because the stain would not have looked good on this type of furniture. This is day one and how everything is going. We painted these two drawers. I am just absolutely covered in dust after many hours of sanding down that dresser and I've inhaled so much sawdust. It's probably not good for me at all, but I'm feeling really happy and proud of our little dresser that's really coming along. So this was a fun little project. I'm really glad that we are doing it. Now I am starting to paint and the paint is looking a lot more blue than I thought. On the top the swatch looks a little bit more gray but this came out a little bit more blue but I'm not mad at it. I think it's a really cute color and it's a lot more cheerful than if it was more gray.
and I took turns with the sanding and also with the painting, so we did the whole thing together, which makes it a really special piece in our house. After many days of painting and drying, my husband is finally putting it all back together. So here is what the final result looks like. And hopefully I can insert like a before and after. I think it looks really cute, but I actually ended up hating the paint. It really wouldn't dry. So I had to kind of leave it here and we put a fan on it for literally days and it's still a little bit sticky. So I ended up looking up the paint that we used. This one, Seco Furniture and Cabinets, and on the Rona website, it has one star because it never dries. So I really wish that I had read that review before I bought it. But there's nothing we can do now, so I'm planning to just leave it like this um, for the whole weekend and just have the fan going on it, and then hopefully it will be fully dry by the end of the weekend. I think the color came out really perfectly. It goes well with the wall color, which is like platinum, and we still have the feature wall over here and I think it really goes nicely there and I think it would work in the other space as well. So I just think it came out really cute. I'm thinking about spray painting the handles, but for now I'm just gonna leave them because this was already a lot more work than we expected. So I'm kind of hesitant to do any more furniture like this. Another thing is we didn't actually use that much of the paint, like, if you can see, it's more than half full, so I originally thought this wasn't going to be enough paint, but it was more than enough, but the paint is terrible, so I do not recommend this. Yeah, that means we definitely have enough paint to do more furniture if we wanted and have like maybe some matching end tables to this, um, but I would want to do it in the summer where maybe I could put it outside to dry. This weekend we are going to get the kitchen table that's going to go in this dining room area and we're also going to get a few dressers for the bedrooms so I know we're going to want to stain the kitchen table at least but yeah hopefully it won't be as much work as this one was. It was just really the drying time that made it take so long. I am going to end today's vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!